Isaac, I can smell the contaminated air from here. It's spreading faster than I expected. I'm trying to isolate it, but it's not going to buy us much time. We have to get that thing off this ship. The chemicals you need are in the chemistry lab. I'll hack the door for you when you get there. reprogrammed the door locks on this deck and recently too I guess we're not alone here after all someone doesn't want you in this part of the ship station. Once you get the chemicals, you're also going to need a DNA sample of the alien tissue. I'll search the records for one. You can't hold me here. For so long, Dr. Charles Mercer. I now have a live subject for my study. I'm eager to validate my tissue regeneration. You know who to to. Initial restraint was problematic, but now the patient's resting comfortably. He trusts me, Dr. Khan. He puts his life in my hands. He knows his part in all of this. Understands what I'm doing. The forehead has been swapped clean and marked. What are you doing with that? And I'm now attempting to create a passage to insert the sample no, system no, no.
What are you? Your fight for survival is admirable but pointless. Uh, and yet you keep on going. It almost makes me think that we had hope as a species. And we're the only one who sees that we have died out a long time ago. We just haven't accepted it yet. Stop running. Stop your struggle. Our future. Your future, the future of our race ends here. Allow me to introduce you to humanity's child, the children that will replace us, our greatest creation. records, there's an inert sample stored in the ICU. A Dr. Mercer was apparently doing intensive research on it. I've been trying to contact Hammond, but all I'm getting is static. Isaac, you've got to hurry. Your persistence surprises me. Holding on to your final breath, you claw your way along. You hold on to what was once your war. But now, it belongs to the children. Be glad of the knowledge that your death will bring their birth. Listen. Can you hear it? It's coming. Say your prayers. Ooh. Mm -hmm. 